course I didn't press record. Doing it again, doing it again. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is gonna be a try on video. I am not gonna be keeping all of this. It's too excessive and some of them don't really fit right. So the first item is a corset. I'm actually not able to try this on for you because it is too small. I'm usually a size small at Zara and H&M and this is a size small but it's just, it's too small. Another crop top I got that was too small for me is this beautiful mesh type of corset top and and it's so pretty but again it's too small I didn't even try to um, put this on because of the mesh backing I would go up a size maybe even two sizes if you're not sure now this crop top this is what I don't like about the sizes buying online especially is it's kind of strange so this is also a size small from Zara but it fits me it is really tight on the boobage area but you can get away with it. I would not size up. This is just such a pretty corset. I just love the floral detail. I honestly don't know where to wear this yet, but I do want to keep it. I'm going to have to work hard to wear this though. Okay, we're going to the dress category. This is the first dress. I actually have three colors of this same dress, but I will be returning two. I have the black, the pink, and the white. Now that I have it here, I feel like it just doesn't flatter my body very well. I am not super skinny and super fit, so the white definitely kind of shows the wobbly bits <laughs> that I want to hide. Let me know in the comments if you think I can work this. This is the pink one. I like the pink one, but I just wish they chose a blush color, not this bright pink. I will be returning this. I just wanted to see how this worked on my skin. I feel like it's too pink for me. I'm not a very colorful person. Finally, the same dress in black. This one I'm definitely keeping because the ruching helps hide the wobbly bits and the black color also helps hide those wobbly bits. The black one is very flattering. I think if you're looking for a color and you're not sure sure which will flatter you the black one is the safe option so another is one of the dresses from Zara that went viral but this is in the white color I do really really like this one the only thing though is the boob area is just it's it, this is not a dress made for people with big boobs or even medium-sized boobs I really want to keep this dress because I think it looks beautiful but I just don't like the backing either so they do have two other colors the green one and a purple one but they changed the backing so this dress I tried on in my other video which I'll be linking up here where I also tried this one on for you this broke unfortunately and I only tried it on once so keep that in mind I love it more than the white one because if you notice this goes scoop while the white one has this weird flap thing that just constricts your boobs this is such a fun dress okay I didn't actually know that you can adjust the chain and I really like it the only thing though is again the chest area this is super tight for the chest area I have to zipper it while it's down and then move it upwards because it's so tight and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this I really like it though so I might hold on to it for a little while longer but I don't need 500 white dresses. So this dress is from H&M and I really, really like this. Although it is pretty tight on me, not gonna lie. They have a black version, but weirdly enough, the black version does not have the same texture as this. It doesn't have these ribbed detail. The black one's just plain and I did not like that one, so I didn't get that one. The skirt is a little bit long, so it is kind of hard to walk around. Okay, this dress is super fun. This is also by H&M. The whole upper body thing is a little weird, but I kind of really like it. I kind of am into weird stuff lately and I love the pattern and the material of this. It's almost like a cotton linen thing. It's very light and very flowy. It's kind of like a nice cross between spring and summer. And I really like this bow detail at the back, like a halter situation. And green is a big color this summer, so I am excited to wear this. Here is a dress that I absolutely love, but it sits weirdly on my chest area. I'm afraid like if the wind blows, it'll just go like this and expose my boobage. I love the pattern. I love the skirt. This kind of silhouette makes your body look like an hourglass. It's so pretty. It is beautiful. I just wish it fit properly. Okay, the last dress is this gorgeous number right here i really wanted this because i have a black dress that has a similar cut in my previous video video which i will be linking up here and i loved that so i was thinking i would love this too and i do the tie though i feel is 
quite short. I love the color, I love the pattern, it's super fun. Finally, it's this jacket. I needed one for the summertime or the spring and summertime that wasn't, you know, so heavy because all my jackets are heavy or blazers. I am a beige or black or white lover and this has beige and black in it so it will match most of my outfits. I got an extra small. This does run large on H&M. Okay, now we're going into bags. The first bag I got from Winners. This is just a simple black bag. It has like this chain detail. I do not like how short the chain is. You can only wear it like this. I have always wanted to get one of those YSL bags that kind of look like this, but I can't afford that. I also do like how it's got this chain where you can just wear it like this. Another bag I got from Winners is this adorable sage purse. I like how long it is because you can just wear it and it's super comfortable. I actually prefer the length of this kind of shoulder bag to the like really short ones and I love the color. When I brought this home, my sister what went crazy and it's something that I'm probably gonna keep for a while because I really do like the sage color. This bag I got from H&M. It's a really strange bag but I really really like it. The more I look at it, the more I really enjoy it because it does look weird. It's not the usual bag. Although I have to say it's not the best quality. I like how you can wear it like this really comfortably or you can even wear it like this. I do like how plain and simple it is. It's not like a super white color. It's more of like an off-white cream color and I like pairing it with jeans, a shirt and just put this in and you'll feel a little bit put together. I like that. Okay this bag is super interesting. I got this from Sandra Roberts. This is kind of like the really trendy, I'm not sure if it's Balenciaga but it's got this knot detail over here. I like how strange and different it is. What do you think? Should I keep it? Should I not? I'm not sure. Okay the last bag for this haul is this H H&M one. This is an H&M beach bag. It actually looks so much better on the website and I thought it was like super structured but it's not. I did decide to keep it because I wanted a bag that I could just bring to the beach and lay on the sand without feeling too scared about sand getting in or staining it. Okay, now we're gonna go on into shoes for this haul. I do have so many more to show you but it's not for this haul, it's for something else. So let's get into the shoes for this haul. These are Nine West heels and I love how dainty they look. They're not the typical kind of white shoe, but because of this kind of like ruching here, it kind of matches the bag that I have. I like that ruching. I feel more elegant in it. They're not like a super wet, they're more like a cream and I plan to wear this all throughout summer. Now these are a fun one, but unfortunately these are too big for me. I did get this off of Facebook Marketplace. I did not want to spend like so much on green shoes, but that bit me in the butt because they didn't want me to try it on since COVID and all that. So I didn't try it on and I got them and they are too big. They are a size 8, but they're like a big size 8. I can't wear them. They're just too big and they're too heavy. So I am selling this on Facebook Marketplace. These next ones... Don't judge me. I know it is summer and these shoes don't necessarily scream summer at all, but I saw a girl wearing these shoes on the train last autumn and I scoured the internet to find them and I could not believe that I found them on Steve Madden. So I decided not to get them that year and this year came around and they were still available and they were on sale because it's summer because who buys boots in the summer? And so I got them. I do love the heel especially. I like it when shoes look different and are not the typical shoe. Okay, these are the last shoes that I'm going to be talking about for this haul. These are the Zara Espadrilles. They're basically a wedge and it's got like this ribbon that goes throughout the leg. I have very short legs. I don't typically go for these kinds of shoes and they went out of stock three times before I decided to get them. With outfits that are like long, like for example this dress, when I wear these they just look so pretty and I have a few dresses that I know I will be able to rock with these so I'm not returning them. I had a hard time finding them and they did go out of stock three times so I'm keeping these and I do really like them. The last thing I got I forgot to show you was this ring by Zara. It is super minimalistic which I love and it's square which is really different from, for me. Once I remove this I won't be able to return it so... 
There you have it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching my haul video. If you want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I have so much more to show, so many more videos like this to put out. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!